In the annals of American history, certain events often overshadow others, relegating significant episodes to the footnotes of textbooks. One such event is Lesler's Rebellion, a tumultuous uprising that rocked the colonies of New York in the late 17th century. Despite its relative obscurity, Lesler's Rebellion represents a pivotal moment in the struggle for power and identity in colonial America, highlighting tensions between the ruling elite and the disenfranchised masses. Context. Political turmoil in colonial New York. By the late 17th century, the colony of New York was mired in political and social unrest. The Dutch had ceded control of the colony to the English in 1664, but tensions lingered between the old Dutch patroons and the newly arrived English elite. The population was divided along lines of class, ethnicity, and religion, with wealthy landowners dominating the political landscape and the working class feeling increasingly marginalized. The Rise of Jacob Lesler Enter Jacob Lesler a German-born merchant and militia captain who became a prominent figure in New York's political scene. In the wake of the Glorious Revolution in England in 1688, which saw the overthrow of King James Roman II and the ascension of William and Mary to the throne, Lesler emerged as a leader of the anti-Jacobite faction in New York. Taking advantage of the power vacuum left by the departure of the colony's governor, he seized control of Fort James in New York City in 1689, proclaiming himself Lieutenant Governor in the name of William and Mary. The Rebellion Lesler's seizure of power sparked a wave of resistance from the colony's ruling elite, who viewed him as a usurper and a threat to their authority. The rebellion quickly escalated into a full-blown conflict, with supporters of Lesler, known as Leslerians, clashing with their opponents, known as anti-Leslerians, in the streets of New York City and beyond. The violence and chaos that ensued would leave a lasting scar on the colony's collective memory. Legacy, Controversy and Consequences Lesler's rebellion ultimately ended in tragedy for its namesake. In 1691, Lesler and his son-in-law were arrested by forces loyal to the newly appointed royal governor of New York, tried for treason and executed. Despite his efforts to champion the cause of the common man and challenge the entrenched power structures of colonial society, Lesler's legacy remains a subject of controversy and debate. Lessons Learned Though Lesler's rebellion may be a footnote in the broader narrative of American history, it serves as a reminder of the enduring tensions between the ruling elite and the disenfranchised masses. It highlights the complex interplay of class, ethnicity, and ideology that shaped colonial society and influenced the course of events in the New World. As we reflect on this forgotten chapter, we are reminded that the struggle for power and identity is a timeless theme that continues to resonate in the annals of human history.